A, a really sad story here. A family left grieving the loss of one of their own. You mentioned an accomplished young surfer. He is out in the water last Sunday. He dies in the water last Sunday. It's a tragedy that has left his family out with an urgent message to you about water safety. Listen to this. Ocean safety, right? You got to know what you got to know the conditions, and, and he knew the conditions, so that's you know surprising and shocking. But the, even to the experts, you never know how crazy it's out there. Listen to people when they tell you to stay out of the water. A grieving family now out with a warning to all the surfers as the Southland continues to be hit with high surf and high tides, all very dangerous, life threatening conditions. Folks say, hey, don't go out today. Yeah, don't go out. Don't go surfing. The, you know, it's crazy. It's storming out there. But he's a diehard surfer. He's been surfing, bodyboarding his whole life. He's talking about his nephew, Evan McMillan, out last Sunday doing what he loved to do, just like in this video, riding the waves, surfing Sunday at Salt Creek Beach in Dana Point. That's when tragedy strikes and beachgoers rush in to help. And she saw my nephew pull him out of the water. Um... He said that he noticed that there was blood in the water, pulled him out, brought him to the beach, started performing CPR on him. He was getting good care. There was a lot of good people trying to save him. Evan dies just a month short of his 22nd birthday. That leads to this beachside candlelight vigil last Monday. Friends and so many others from the surfing community all remembering Evan and the special way he touched all of their lives. He wanted to teach surfing, give back to the community, help kids that you know couldn't afford to even have a board. He, he went down to Mexico not too long ago with a bunch of his friends. Before they left, they gave him their high-end equipment and gear because you know they saw their love for riding and they wanted to share that love with them. And that's what makes this tragedy hurt even more. You see, Evan was a standout high school baseball player in great shape, an accomplished surfer who taught others about the sport and even taught them how to be safe in the water, only to lose his own life while out in the water surfing. I mean, from the type of surfer he was, and bodyboarder and expert in the ocean, it was complete shock. And, you know, I think we're left with more questions than answers. Now, Lai, the uh, family is still setting up funeral arrangements. They've also set up a GoFundMe page in part to help with the setup, the establishment of a Let Him Ride Foundation.org. It's a special foundation the family is setting up in Evan's name to urge ocean safety for everybody, as they put it. They, and nobody really wants Evan's death to be in vain. For now, we're live here, Dana Point. Back to both of you in West LA. We go. Um.